Hello, are you looking for a nice, thick, lush vine for the Phoenix area? My name is Eli Hall with AMS Landscaping out of Phoenix, Arizona. And this video is about the snail vine. And I'll be sure to add the botanical name here as well. Um, these vines are not, they, they can be aggressive in tropical zones because they're a little bit more tropical than um, your typical vine here for our desert uh, landscape. But they, they have a beautiful, lush, three leaflet dark green leaf that's pretty dense if grown well here in the valley. It does require some sort of trellis to attach to. It's not as aggressive as a cat claw vine where it almost grows on its own. It needs a little bit of help to keep it you know, flourishing and it does best in a little bit partial uh, shade. Uh, it definitely can't take full Western sun. Um, it's like I said, it's not a full desert adaptable vine, but it's got this awesome white or bluish purple flower the buds have like a hooked spur look to them and uh, they can get pods that are about up to seven inches in length. And I'll be sure to add plenty of images and B-roll of some um, varieties that we took here in the valley. Um, you know, it, like I said, it does need a structural support. It flowers in the spring, uh, sporadically in the summer months. Uh, it's very cold sensitive. So anything below 40 degrees, it, it's not going to flourish as well and it's very prone to a frost and when they do take a frost you'll sometimes need to cut them all the way back and they'll just come right back the following year. They are best like I said in in, in um, partial shade to full sun as long as they don't have that constant western sun exposure. Um, you do need to irrigate them regularly. Um, they're sensitive to the drought and will require you know, your typical watering with your irrigation, you know, in the summer, I'll be sure to add a link on this uh, video blog about my recommended watering schedule. You want to shear it back uh, to keep it under control. If it does get kind of aggressive, like I said, you'll, you'll need to attach it to the your your fence or your trellis, however you're trying to, you know, get it to, to grow. Uh, it Good thing is, is it's not really uh, susceptible to any disease or pest, which is really good. But that is, you know, something that you want to be cautious of. It's not as aggressive as your typical cat claw vine. So you'll need to kind of nurture it a little bit more. But if you have any other questions or if you want to contact us and have some of these installed in your home, feel free to reach out to us at azlawns.com. Also subscribe to our YouTube and Facebook pages at AMS Landscaping and follow us on Instagram and Twitter at azlawns. Make it a great day.